All right, let's take a look at question number 12. In this problem, we're going to be taking a look at how to calculate the probability of independent events. Question 12 reads, suppose uh, events A and B are independent and the probability of A and B is 0 0.2, which statement could be true? All right, so before we get started, let's go ahead and review our formulas concerning uh, probability of independent events. We just list all of them here and then we apply them to the um, options and see which one generates a true statement. Okay, so probability uh, formulas for independent events. Okay, so first of all, probability of A and B like what's given here, probability of A and B with your independent events is simply the product of the individual probabilities. Probability of A or B is the sum of the independent individual probabilities since they are, we have independent events here. Um, probability of A given B is just simply probability of A. And then what do you think probability of B given A is going to be? Probability of B given A is just probability of B. And then um, there also, we can also uh, take advantage of these equations that we have here to rewrite the first equation. So probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. But probability of A is the same thing as probability of A given B. So we can just change this as probability of A given B times probability of B. So what I did is I just, let me show you what I did. I just took the value of probability of A, which is probability of A given B, and I just plugged it into this first equation right here. So I replaced that. So that's how I got this equation that we have right here. All right. Okay. So it looks like we have enough equations for uh, to solve this problem okay let's go ahead and do it so we're going to check each one okay we're going to check each one option that we have here and then we'll see which one is the correct equation which we use yield a, a true statement so it's basically like a check all right so for option one we have probability of a is 0 0.4 probability of b is 0 0.3 and then probability of A or B is 0 0.5 so formula for probability of A or B is okay which one are we using this one right here is probability of A plus probability of B so let's see if we apply this formula to what we have do we have a true statement Probability of A or B is 0 0.5. So is 0 0.5 equal to probability of A, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3? Is it? Is 0 0.5 equal to, you add these two, 0 0.7? Is it? Nope. False. So question number one, uh, the equation information in number one is not true this what we got right here is a false statement false is not equal okay so eliminate one so just follow the same procedure and uh, do the other problems okay let's take a look at question number two so for option two we have uh, to check the following we're told that probability of A is 0 0.8 and probability of B is 0.25. And then the equation that we have, uh, well, we have this too, so we can use that. And then we also know that probability of A and B is equal to 0 0.2. Okay, so the equation is probability of A and B is equal to what? What's the equation we're going to use? We're going to use the first one, right? It's going to be probability of A times probability of B. If we substitute this inf information that we're checking with here, do we have a true statement? 
All right, so the question is um, probability of, so, this looks weird, this is 0 0.8. All right, probability of A and B is 0 0.2. So the question is, is 0 0.2 equal to probability of A, which is 0 0.8, times probability of B, which is 0 0.25? 0 0.25 is 1 over 4, so if you multiply 1 8 by 1 over 4, it is 1.8 divided by 4, which is 0 0.2. Or you can simply use your calculator, you will see get 0 0.2. Is 0 0.2 equal to 0 0.2? That is absolutely true. Um, so, option number 2 is our correct answer. Okay, so we know that the answer is uh, option two, but what we're going to do is we're going to show you that options three and four are false. All right. So we never know what kind of question you're going to see on the Regents exam. So we want to cover all the bases so you have a, a good score. All right. So for three, we're going to check probability of A given B is 0 0.2 and probability of B is 0 0.2. And um, we also know that, pro which one are we going to use? Probability of A given B, probability of B. We want to use this equation right here, okay? So we also know that probability of A and B is what? 0 0.2. Okay, so the formula relating all of them um, is probability of A and B for independent events is probability of A given B which is the same thing as probability of A times probability of B. Okay, so if we substitute, the question is, is 0 0.2, which is probability of A and B, is it equal to probability of A given B, 0 0.2 times probability of B, which is 0 0.2? So the question is, is 0 0.2, is it equal to 0 0.2 times 0 0.2, which is 0 0.04, is it? Nope. That's a false statement, which helps us to see that option number three is not the correct answer. All right, let's look at number four. How can we test that one to show that it's false? It should be false, hopefully, because we already showed that option uh, two is the correct answer. So for four, we're told that probability of A is equal to 0 0.15, probability of B is point. 0 0.05. So what equation relates probability of A and probability of B that we know? Well, we are also given the fact that probability of A and B is 0 0.2. So we're going to put that down. Probability of A and B is 0 0.2. All right, so let's write down the equation that relates these three uh, values here, which is that probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. So the question is probability of A and B is 0 0.2. Is it equal to probability of A and this given information right here is 0 0.15 times probability of B which is 0 0.05. So is 0 0.2 is it equal to if you multiply these two together, you get 0 0.0075. Um, you just multiply 5 and 15 times 5, and then you count. You get 75, and you count four decimal places, you get 0 0.05. Or you can just use your calculator. Let me show it to you real quick. So using your calculator, 0 0.15 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.0075. So is this statement true or false? The answer is false. This statement is false. So that clearly helps us to see that option number four is incorrect. So we know for a certainty that um, statement two is true.